Right. Even though you're yes, e hello. Even though you're tucked away in the corner of the screen there. Get, getting the rays. Getting the rays. Aye, you're like a little house plant. <coughs> <coughs> I do. <it. coughs> Sorry about all the coughing, but we're not well. I've had. I've all right. I've, well, no, I've had a cold. And, and you've passed it on to me. Uh, well, not necessarily, but who knows? Who knows what the machinations of small microbial life? Anyway, we're in Linlithgow. Well, we're in that basic area anyway, and what we're going to do is we're going to walk along the river, or Avon. 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 Mm -hmm. Not Avon calling. Avon calling. Take time out for beauty. Nothing nope. to do with that, right? Avon. We're going to go along there, and then there's a little country park. So Have nothing you gone under the Avon viaduct, Aye. aqueduct. 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 Now, what what's the purpose of that aqueduct? Because I presume it's for the. It's for the canal. Okay, so that's the, the Union, Union canal. Union canal. That okay. we've walked along. Remember the Kelpies walk. So we did a Union Canal that right. day. Well, hardly anyone watched the Kelpies one, so people mustn't be interested in... I tell you, that's one of my favourite places to go as well, Aye. so... Oh, well. Yeah, well hey, we'll, hey, we'll give it a shot. Nothing courses wrong with for courses. Aye, right, so we're just going to go along there. Now, we've been... Uh, we've walked around this area before, and we've found tiny frogs. Walked tiny and, I've, frogs. and I've ran it mm -hmm. two weeks ago, I think I yeah. ran it. Two, and, three weeks ago, and it's really, really nice. Aye, right, and when you did that, you were full of beans. I oh, really was. Yeah. Blasting around like Roadrunner. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's just a simple one today, and because of the time of year, the weather's starting to wind down. You're yeah. getting less heat. The sun is still out, but it, obviously you start getting the chill. Well, we've winds. just had the storm alley. Ah, they, they keep naming these which storms. Battered all the trees down, so we'll see. There might be some debris. <clears throat> I don't know why they name these storms. In the UK, they never used to bother naming storms because there was no, there was no real purpose. I can understand if you live in America. And well, I think did that one not come from that region? I know, but it's, like, it's just was it New York or something? It came from probably the Bahamas or. But I don't know. But I Didn't can really understand it. if you live in either. if you live in Tornado Alley. There's a genuine need to name storms because there's loss of life. But come on, a bit of sleet and some wind. It's here. We're very lucky. We don't get tornadoes. Yes, they exist, but they don't cause widespread damage and we don't really get proper hurricanes. So we're very lucky. So I don't think we should be naming daft little storms. But anyway, right. So we're going to go along this river, Avon calling, and okay. see, what, see what we can spot. And there's supposed to be a lagoon. Ah, yeah, that's exactly what I, when I saw it on the map, I thought lagoon, so we're going to look for the, wait though, we're going to look. I believe it when I see it. We're going to look for the monster of the lagoon, so keep a, keep your eyes. A baby, baby Nessie. Baby Nessie, we Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we couldn't, we've been to Loch Ness, we couldn't find the real Nessie, never mind a wee Nessie, so we'll, we'll see what we can come up with. Anyway, we're off. Bye bye. <laughs>
Having a conversation on the way. Oh, we? They're just now about countries and their national animals. Aye. So we're discussing like all like Britain's national animals, like Wales is a dragon, uh, England is the. I'm from England and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll be. What I want to do is ask you to guess. We'll put it up at the very end, but we'll ask you to guess <laughs> Scotland's national animal. Um, which not a lot of people know. Probably not, but have well, a think about it during the video and then as I say at the very end we'll we'll put what Scotland's national animal is. Well New Zealand's is a kiwi bird, isn't it? Well, well, you, yeah, oh, that's I, true. I know they want to change that and this North America is that a golden eagle. Eagle, yeah. So, Japan is a pheasant or something, isn't it? Something like that. I can't remember I but I don't know that, I don't know. Um but we'll obviously, you know, there's a little thing for you to get back to us on just to let us know what you think. Scotland, right, just, Scotland's national animal. Just when is. you thought you could relax, we're pummeling you with questions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll speak to you soon. Aye.
through this walk so far. Oh, it's all right. No bad. <laughs> very nice, very nice. All the little animals and things in the lime kiln. Uh-huh. I, I, like, I feel like I'm doing a customer survey. <laughs> <laughs> Nine out of ten people preferred this walk. <laughs> For what reasons? <laughs> well, it's secluded, isn't it? Well, but it's... beware, they were screaming brattle earth at times. Yeah, there's a lot of, I think the nearer you get to car parks, I think um, the more you're going to get families and children. But like I say, if you don't want that, you just get up really early in the morning and go walking and trekking about if you want to avoid that kind of thing. So we've, we're, we're midday here, so you're going to come across a lot of children and things like that. But a lovely walk, really um, a lot of different paths, terrain things to see so it's really a worthwhile day to come out have returned now you were trying some I was very impressed you were trying some pioneering filming techniques today including we're trying different things exactly including something very audacious you were trying to get a squirrel now that well I did catch this little squirrel but unfortunately it was out of focus so however I don't know if there's the, even any point showing you the footage of it even out of focus because it did stand its well, back my, legs and go Alright, we well, might stick it in. <laughs> For cameramen and stuff, they always say never work with animals and children, and this is why it's, they're fickle and it's extremely difficult to get them to behave. Yeah, it was half an hour and it's starting to get, you know, the sun's starting to go and it was starting to get a bit oh. chilly, so it's quite cold. Exactly, right. So, so, what did you think of this walk? Great, I really mm. enjoyed it. A lot of different things. I mean, we've done it, this is our third time doing this walk. Um, you've done it two, twice. I've 
done it twice and I've ran it. So it's lovely. It's really, right. really different. Um, you know, seen all the little am animals and everything as well. So, yeah. Excellent good. wildlife. And we even found a little farm and everything. We've got the waterways. You've got the, um, the aqueduct, aqueduct, the viaduct, the trains, trains going over, mm -hmm. the, the Union Canal. Loads, and there's more. There's scope for more because there's loads of paths that we didn't take. Yeah. So masses of scope for going anywhere you want. And I think we've done probably about um, over six miles today. Hey, well done. I shall stick it up here. Yeah. Stick it up, as they say. Stick it up. So we've done pretty it's good a today. Stick up. But it was quite relaxing. We were just meandering along water uh -huh. and through water. Yeah, walkways. nice chilled walk and just a lot of conversation on the way. But right. one of the things we did ask on our walk was mm -hmm. uh, what was Scotland's national animal? We so know, we know. Wales is the dragon, England is the lion, Ireland is. Something like a red, red deer, deer or something. Uh, so, Scotland, what is Scotland? So, if you know, it'll be stuck up here. Aye. Well, when we sure. both know what it is. We know what it is. Right, we might as well but, just say. So, yep. Unicorn. It's a unicorn. Which don't actually exist. So that's a very interesting well, choice for us. Well, dragons. Unless you... Komodo dragon, I suppose. Dragon but yes, you're right. You're right. Like that, but... in, in the classical sense, they don't so, yes, exist. So yes, so Scotland is a unicorn, which is so cute very and cool and interesting. So we'll stick with the unicorn here ah, for you to have a look at. Just so so Mox out of 10 for this walk. What do you reckon? What do you reckon for There's this the mum, walk? the mumsy's phone in. Aye, aye. <laughs> Someone's giving There's you... There's the wee mumsy so phone we'll, in. So we'll cut this short. So box out of ten. Uh, eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. Normally like you're it. quite, whoa, way down like a... No, I mean, the only thing is... There Too wasn't cold. A lot of, no, 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 there wasn't a lot of wildlife, so... I don't know about that. We saw slugs, we saw every type of bird. Yeah, apart from us seeing Fish. birds that were in the little farm and things, but... Yeah, okay. No, eight. I'm happy right, with eight. That's still a good mark. I, I, I feel as though I give eight all the time these days. Ah, uh, it's, it's it's a safe bet. I would give it seven. Okay, you're always giving seven these days I'm as not... well. <laughs> I've been more positive than you these days. <laughs> I've got to be realistic because there was a bit of mud and... Um, I think it could have been more wild. There was a lot of constructed walkways and jetties and things like that. But yeah... Seven. I'm gonna be. I'm, I've got to be honest. Seven. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad mark. That's good. Yeah. That's perfectly That's acceptable. Not bad. So I enjoyed it, and we, and because we're finished back in Linlithgow, mm -hmm. we could come back here another day. We haven't even covered the fact that there's a palace here. I know, but we've done Linlithgow. I've done, God, I've done Linlithgow many a times. Aye, the, the palace people. and the walk and the lake and the, mm -hmm. the loch and whatever else. So we'll do that definitely another right, time. Because Mary Queen of Scots was born here mm -hmm. in the 1500s, so we are. In the, she could have sat, not in a car, obviously, but she I could mean, have sat say. here in a. She could have sat here in a carriage, going. I wonder where I should have a trail trip. Although she would be speaking Scottish, wouldn't right, she? Right, right. <laughs> where am I going today? <laughs> Well, your Scottish is better than my Newcastle accent. I'm not even going to attempt no, that. Aye. Why I and all that. But anyway, exactly. so we're doing our usual blabbering so, on. So we've had a... we're off to make some chowder soup. Clam chowder. Imagine that. Hey, good. Nothing wrong with that. So good wholesome what, soup. What, it's a bread, chilly what bread do you recommend to go with that? Oh, this cooking show. Warm, cr crusty warm, bread. A warm, <laughs> crusty cobbler. Yeah. Right, come on, you need to ring the mother. Yep, so we've got to phone the mother So back. seven and eight. So that's Highly recommended. Well, good, good. We had a good time and we saw lots of wildlife. Lovely. So thank you for joining us on this one. And so we'll about just... two and a half hours, three hours, probably aye, time aye, we did time but, lapse. But yeah. yeah, thanks again for continually following us. Exactly. And, um, you know, just to get out and try some of the walks we do exactly. if you're local. If you're local, not, don't send us any hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.